my name is Brian Charlson. I'm Director of Technology at the Carroll Center for the Blind. This is the first in a series of videos on the use of the iPhone 5. Let me start by describing the physical features of the device. Across the top edge we have a power on off lock switch. There's no earphone jack as was on the iPhone 4S and previous models. Down the right hand edge all we have is a single slot where you would put your SIM to configure it for use. On the left hand side we have the mute button, two position switch, forward for mute off, back for mute on, then volume up and volume down. Along the bottom edge we have the earphone jack that doubles as a microphone jack, the power and data port, and a microphone. On the face of the device we have the earphone slot at the top. This is where you would hold it against your ear if you're making a phone call. And the home button centered at the bottom. I'm going to now turn it on by holding down the power button for a count of three, then release it. The iPhone 5 is about a half inch longer than the iPhone 4S and it's slightly thinner. Again, if you held one in one hand and one in the other, you would be able to tell that it's also lighter. This should come up talking because I've turned on the voiceover screen reader for all of these demos. 136. So it's now on. My first task is to unlock it. So I'm going to put my finger on the home button and slide it up the screen until it said slide to unlock. That's a misnomer. You're really not going to slide to unlock this. You're going to use a single finger to double tap in the center of the screen. Messages. And now it's unlocked. The screen is divided into three parts. A status bar at the top, a dock, D-O-C, at the bottom, and then a page in between those two. I'm going to place my finger at the top center and come down past the ear slot till it speaks to me. 1.37 p.m. And it tells me the time, 1.37 p.m., and that that's a status item. I'm now on the status bar. That's where the focus is located. For me to control this, however, I'm going to only be using gestures across the center of the screen. That is center top to bottom and center left to right. So I'm going to now flick. This is where you use your finger to go across the screen. The finger's in motion before it touches the screen, stays in motion going across the screen, and is still in motion as it leaves the screen. So I'm flicking to the right. 40% battery power. And it tells me how much battery charge I have. Flick to the right, and I can't go any farther that direction. So I'm going to flick to the left. 1.38 p.m. Tells me the time, again. Three of three bars. Wi-Fi signal strength. It tells me my Wi-Fi signal strength, flicking to the left. AT&T network. Tells me what network it's connected to, flicking to the left. Three of five bars, signal strength. And what the strength of that connection is through my mobile connection. If I put my finger on the home button at the bottom of the screen and go up slightly. Mail, 41 new items. It will tell me one of the four items along the dock area. I'm again going to flick right to left. And you will hear that there's a phone app. This is, again, in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Flicking left to right, we go to mail, mail new items. for all of your email. And it indicates how many of those emails have not been read as of yet. Flicking left to right. Safari. Safari, which is the name of your browser when doing web browsing. Flicking left to right. Music. Music. And this, of course, used to be called the iPod icon, but now it's called the music icon in recent versions of the operating system. Now, when I want to navigate around the center of the screen called the page, I place my finger in the center of the screen for a moment, Where's MBTA? and it lands on one of the screen icons. I'm going to flick left or right to left until I get to the topmost icon, flicking Flight track, reminders, single tap, Dropbox, App Store, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Messages. Until I got to the top and I heard that bonk noise, which indicates I can't go any farther in that direction. What we have on screen is a group of icons. They're located in a 4x5 grid. 
Previous versions of the iPhone was a 4x4 grid. The 5 began on 4x5 grid. First it said Messages. I'm flicking to the right. LinkedIn. LinkedIn to the right. Facebook. And to the right. Twitter. So I'm going from item to item to item across the top row of icons. If I flick to the right one more time, it's going to wrap around to the first item on the second row. App Store. One new item you play. Oops. I touched the screen and that changed the focus. Again, I'm going to put my finger roughly where I think the messages store, icon was. Oh, I, the uh, app store instead. And I'm going to be able to again flick to Top the right, box. to the Same right, text. to the right, moving item by item. It will rotate if I go the opposite direction, flicking to the left. Single text. Dropbox. App store. One and item. flick one more time, it'll flick around to the last item on the previous row. Twitter. Up to Twitter. Now, again, there's a 4x5 grid here. I'm going to flick rapidly until I get down to what I know to be some of the last icons on the screen. App Store, Dropbox, Single Tap, Reminders, Flight Track, Where's Ambit, Navigant, Taxi, Match, Replay, NFB, Neptune, and Rated Downcast, Learning a Lot, Leo, Retuco, Audible. Now I'm on Audible. I'm going to flick one more time to the right. Page 1 of 3. Adjustable. And it tells me that I'm on page 1 of 3 and that that's adjustable. In fact, any time I've got the focus in the center part of the screen, I can use three fingers flicking right to left, Page two of three. and Sports it moves me to a new set of icons. All of the icons on the dock remain the same. All of the information on the status bar remain the same. It's just this center part of the screen where a new set of icons is being displayed. In the case of my iPhone, I've set these up so that they are folders. Text reading folder to apps. So these are folders such as you would experience on a Macintosh or on a Windows-based computer that contain other items. I've divided up additional applications in these folders, otherwise I would have 10 to 15 different screens full of icons. Flicking to the right. Games folder. Five apps. And again. Void folder. One new item. And Three again. Reference folder. Four apps. And again. ID folder. Eleven apps. And that said that I had eleven apps in this particular folder. If I double tap in the center of the screen, ID. Open. it will open that folder so that I can then flick through all of the apps that are in that folder. Again, just flicking across the center of the screen, left to right. Red laser. Recognizer. Prismo. Or right to left. Recognizer. Red laser. ID. Open. To close a folder, you press the home button at the bottom of the screen one time. ID folder, 11 apps. To move from page 2 back to page 1, three fingers left to right. Page 1 of 3, messages. And it takes me back to that initial page. The last thing you need to know about the iPhone 5 at this point is how to start and stop applications. If I flick LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and stop on a particular icon, I double tap. Now, Directions will say double tap on the icon. That's not the case when you're using voiceover. You double tap in the center of the screen. In this case, it opened my Twitter account and I can navigate around that application. I can close this application by pressing the home button once. Home. Twitter. Flick a couple of times to another app box. application, my Dropbox. Application, double tap on the center of the screen. Dropbox, Dropbox. And there's Plus. my Dropbox Plus. account. To move between open applications, press the home button twice. App switcher, Twitter. This puts you in the app switcher and it shows you which application you currently are focused on. In this case, Twitter. If I flick to the left, dismiss app switcher. I can dismiss the app switcher. If I flick to the right, Twitter. I can go between the open applications. Business app switcher, Twitter. So I'm going to Twitter, double tap. Twitter. New and Twitter. I'm back on the Twitter page. I can again close Twitter by pressing the home button. Twitter. But all of these programs that I've run are still running. So I'm going to double tap the home button. App switcher, Twitter. I'm going to Tap and hold. This time I'm going to tap twice, but the second time I'm going to keep my finger on the screen. Editing apps. And it says that I'm editing the apps. I'm going to flick to the right. Dropbox. 
There's Dropbox. If I want to truly close that application, I double tap. Business app switcher. I flick to the right. Twitter. Twitter is still running. I want to close it. I double tap. App switcher has no items. App switcher tells me I have no more items, so I'll flick left. Business app switcher. And double tap to close it. Dis messages. Again, if I want to lock this so that I don't accidentally execute some program, I press the power button one time, screen locked. and the screen is locked. That concludes this demonstration of the Apple iPhone 5.